know what time it is. How it all works. Come on. How, how, how it all works. Come on. How, how, how it all works. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. What's good, HIAW family? It's another Monday right after Christmas. <laughs> Man, I hope that your Christmas was great. As you know, as you can see in the in the countdown clock video, yes, that's a video, not live. That's a video. My sister was in here with me. She's in town this week from Baltimore, Maryland. So glad to have her and her family here with us. Evan, Kendall, Everett. That's my sister, Kim. She, she was dancing around with me. You know we had to do our thing. Uh, but yeah, this is the time, man. Take a moment, take a moment and share the stream. Now, I want to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something right at the outset here. Let me let me bring up this other screen. I'm going to tell you something right at the outset. You're going to want to share the YouTube 
link because we're, we're only taking submissions for the giveaway on the YouTube channel, right? From the YouTube comments, right? So you got to be in quote, our quote unquote balcony, you know, we, we call it the balcony, but you got to be on, over on YouTube in order for your submission to count. So make your way over to YouTube. I just shared it on my Facebook page, the YouTube link. Um, but yeah, make your way over to YouTube, youtube.com slash Kirk R. Nugent. If you didn't, you know, if you didn't know, that's, that's where it's at. If you want to go to how it all works.com slash watch, um, that's the, the big video at the top. That's the YouTube link. Go ahead and click that. Get in the comments on YouTube. That's where you need to be for the giveaway. Look, look, let's do a quick recap. The month of December was phenomenal. I mean, we did cinematography versus videography. We did script writing. We did TV production, movie production. And now today, as we close it out, we're doing live streaming, live streaming. Let me, let me show you all the, this, oh, oh, I'm showing you too much. This is what we got. This is what we got lined up, man. And let me say, they're here. They're backstage right now, ready to go. Sean Doc Boy, Diana Gladney. Sean's going to be first. Right after I play my intro video, Sean's going to be first. And we're going to chop it up with him. And we're going to bring in Diana. We're going to chop it up with her. And then we're going to actually do the giveaway, have everybody on screen. We might even bring somebody in from the audience, okay? So make sure you're over on YouTube. This is what we have coming up. This is what we have coming up in the month of January. Public, rela public relations. Everybody needs PR. Everybody needs me on PR. Me and Doc were talking in the backstage before we went live about, you know, the LDS, um, Church of Latter-day Saints and Mormons and how they have just been killing the PR game. So everybody needs PR. And as you can see there, we're going to be touching on social media that first week branding the second week photography that third week and then web design that fourth week you're gonna want to stick with us make sure you stick with us trust me on this one fam you're gonna want to be in place next week we are going to be we're gonna have uh guest and pierre on the channel on, on how it all works to discuss now we're going to be touching on specifically when i say social media now we've done social media before we're going to be touching specifically on clubhouse and TikTok. Now, I'm looking for a TikTok expert to join us next week. I know it's short notice. I've got a couple of uh, feelers out there for a couple of folks trying to see if we can get somebody to fill that question mark spot. But Gaston Pierre is my guy that's going to be talking to us about Clubhouse. You guys are going to want to be in the space, in the place for that discussion. If you are if you are trying to figure out this PR landscape and you haven't started looking at this, all of these platforms, we touched on Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitter and Instagram in the last last season when we touched on such uh, social media. So this time we want to touch on some of the newer ones. We want to touch on Instagram. Sorry, we want to touch on Clubhouse and we want to touch on TikTok. So I'm going to I'm going to put back up this other flyer real quick. Oh, boy, I can get myself together. Yeah, but take that one down, put this one up. Here we go. I'm going to put this back up. I want to say here, look, we're going to be giving away two Two Buddy Legend plans during the show. But if you were on Clubhouse earlier, if you were on Clubhouse earlier, you know that um, Caleb from Ecamm offered to allow our audience to have a free giveaway for a subscription of Ecamm, right? A subscription of Ecamm Live Pro. This is, man, tag somebody. This is the time to go and share. Right. We want to we want to make sure that we got a large population that's able to get this thing in here. So, man, this is what we're doing today. Live streaming. We're going to be talking about live streaming and, and these two giants in, in listen, giants in Kirk's vocabulary. They might might not be giants to you guys, but they will be by the time we end this show. Um, um, Diana Gladney and Sean Doc Boy, Doc Rock, for those who know him from that angle. And we, I'm so excited to have them excited to get into this thing excited that we're going to be able to have this conversation and these giveaways and without any further ado let's get into it right after this
right, all right, all right. Look who is on screen. Yes, Doc Rock. What's good, What's bro? Happening? Man, it's so good to have you. So good to have you on the channel. I, I would just want to start right off by having you take a few minutes to introduce yourself, just share with people who you are, what you do. I have, you know, I always do my homework on my guests, right? So, but I, I, I didn't have to do a whole lot for you because I've been following you for, for quite some time. Friends in the Ecamm community, let's get live, Vlogmas. <laughs> so we've been following one another, man. But yeah, you have just, man, I mean, it's just been amazing to see what you're doing. So tell, talk to the to the audience, to the HIAW family and others. Clearly, we've got more than just HIAW in the space today. But talk to them a little bit about who you are and, 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 and what you do, right? Well, first of all, let me say aloha. <laughs> That's what we say around my parts. And That's thank right. you for letting me come on and uh, mess up your stream because you look just <laughs> quite amazing. And, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Um, I'm in that just finished work mode. But, yeah, um, I, I basically been a creator for a long time. I've been on YouTube since about 07, hunting and pecking and poking and doing all the things wrong. Like, and I love to just put that right out there. I did all the things wrong from 07 until 2019 and then in 2019 after i was i was in the hospital i had a, a knee replacement surgery mm. and i was just stuck i was stuck in bed for two weeks so i was you know reading 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 looking up stuff whatever i bumped into two buddy i said you know what i'm gonna sign up for this and then i'm gonna go and fix my channel because i felt like it needed a makeover you know, like I, I felt like the dudes from Queer Eye for five for the straight guy just jumped on my channel and, and cleaned it up. So I cleaned <laughs> up a bunch of videos, and probably within like a week, I just saw numbers climbing, like views climbing, like old school joint. I was like, "What? This is quite amazing!" All right, cool. So like I went all in on two buddy and I started fixing my channel. And then in the process of doing that, I was going along. I was on my mission with my tech videos, my travel videos, my lifestyle videos. Like I'm getting it hanging in there again that's still wrong you're not supposed to try to do three things but you know i'm doc rock i'm cool like i can mm. do this i don't need i don't need nobody's nobody's niche yeah i don't, I don't even know how to spell niche it's, niche it's like one of those egg those egg those egg and cheese pies yeah i don't even like that um and then oh my and God. then the um the situation you shouldn't use that actual word on your channel youtube will slap you around so the situation not the weird dude from jersey um it came up and then I was like, you know, well, I have been live for a while. Like, I come from Wirecast Pro. Like, I started come way, on. way, way yes. back. Yes, yes. Even before Wirecast Pro, I was on Boinks TV. Like, I've been oh. live for a long time. But I was like, you know what? Yo, do you, do you remember? You remember Mogulus? Do you, you remember Mogulus? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We, I, that's what absolutely. I what I used to use for my church way, way, way back in the day. That's so I, when I you said Boinks, on, I was on, like, oh snap! You, go ahead, good. I started on UStream. Justin TV and live stream like the OG with live the red stream. logo. Yes, right? not the Vimeo right? version. Yes. No, not the, the original version. <laughs> and then so I was like, you know what? Um, because of the way my knee was still healing, I couldn't sit in my chair long enough to edit, but I could do live. So I said, let me go back and get lives. So I fired up, you know, the new version of Boinks. That was whack. I had been using OBS, you know, touch and go for a while. Right, and I was right. Like, eh, not a fan. And then um the Streamlabs OBS official drop came out right in February, right? Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, cool. So I'm going I'm to try that. I tried it. I was like, yeah, that's still not it. And then so I was like, man, I need a better streaming software for Mac. So I, I opened up YouTube one day and Flynn the Wind was on. And Flynn was doing a whole breakdown of Ecamm. Wow. And then it was really odd, absolutely odd. Justin Brown came on right after. And I was oh, like, snap. I already follow him. And then Henny the Business came on, and I was oh, like, "Oh, that's my dude." If Henny is, if Henny is about this life, yeah. okay. So I said, "Let me go check out some Ecamm." So I started searching the internet. I downloaded Ecamm trial. I was about 15 minutes in, and I go, "Yo, I love this. This is dope." Somehow I stumbled onto Stephanie Lou's thing, and she's like, "I'm about to do a conference on Ecamm, and we're going to teach you all about live streaming, whatever." I was like, "Well, I kind of know about live streaming." But this nice lady is going to give me a discount for Ecamm. I'm going to take yeah, it. Yeah, I'm taking it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I, 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 mama ain't raised no fool. So Come it was like, all right, here's a, here's a 30% off Ecamm and uh, go watch these people. And in the middle of watching that, I was like waiting for the conference. So I'm looking at 
all the folks I'm doing stuff on two buddy two buddy says oh you should check out this my, my diana glady lady and i was like all right she cool and then i watched her stream and i was like yo i'm definitely in 100 percent and yo the rest is they say is history, history. Like, so to speak and that's it so from that moment on i was like i want to be able to take all of my experience and my knowledge from the broadcast world i was in radio and tv i sold broadcast equipment i sold sony equipments for years to like tv stations and movie production places right and, right right you know supported the industry i've been on films i ran microphone for films all this other stuff i'm like yo i can put what i know from the industry into what everyone is doing wrong uh, I said it. Yeah, um, you said it. That's wrong fine. With, with actual <laughs> streaming. I was like, yo, I'm going to go fix people. And I'm going to go fix people from just, you know, the best I can and then try to be nice about it. I don't always come out nice because I, I can be mean. Uh, but um, yeah, I just want to make sure. I want everybody to be their best you, right? I want you to glow up. And wow, I, I'm sorry. I, I come from drill sergeant mentality, so I might be a little rough, but I mean love. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Listen, this is this is phenomenal. This is phenomenal. Listen, I'm just going to take a moment here. Right. 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 As we're pausing, you can see the question on the screen and you and if you've been listening, you know, Doc has already answered it. How has live streaming changed over? He's given he's given us a history lesson here, man. <laughs> he's given us, yeah. man. I mean, boinks. Yo, you have to have been in live stream for a minute. Uh, to know about Boinks and Mogulus. I Mogulus. know Oscar Brandenburg on a personal oh, basis. Man. We get together at Macworld, and which is funny because I realized now after being, you know, a moderator that I've known the twins from eons back from Printopia. Oh, wow. Because I was, I was writing for tech for AOL back then, so I used to go to their booth and have to cover eyeglasses and Skype call recorder. Oh, wow, man. So, it's listen, listen. Funny, so really let me like, let me get this in here real quick, folks. If you are if you want to get in on these on these giveaways today, two let me let me say that again, two two buddy legend plans, and then one ecam live pro subscription. You're gonna want to be in the comments on YouTube. That's where um, my wife is, and she will be at grabbing your answers to the questions that we're gonna ask in order to be eligible for those giveaways, Doc. Talk to us a little bit. I mean, so you've given us the your background uh, in terms of live, live streaming. I want to I want you to kind of give them some, I guess, pointers or, you know, some some tidbits on how it has evolved, because I remember streaming on Boinks and, 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 and on Mogulus. And it is a, a world of difference to what we're doing today right now on this platform with Ecamm. And for those that were wondering, I saw a couple of questions asking, is this Ecamm? Yes, I'm using Ecamm to, to run my, my live show. Um, used to use As StreamYard, also also did Restream for a little bit, Restream Studio, but I'm using Ecamm now. And it is a, a much better workflow for me uh, in terms of running the show. But Doc, talk to the folks about some of the options that are available and how things have changed over the years with live streaming. The, the biggest one is point blank. The barrier to entry is lower than ever. Okay. Good. And good. that's because of really, really feature rich and lovely software like Ecamm. And, you know, uh, if I had to pick something, cause I don't want, you know, people say, Oh, he's an Ecamm show. Yes, I am. So what, um, you know, <laughs> like I, I love the Red Sox. I, I eat, sleep, bleed, dream, drink, die Red Sox. I'm not going to just be like, Oh, the Marlins are my new favorite. No, I am a Red Sox fan. And there's nothing wrong with being a Red Sox fan or no. or Raiders fan or Manchester United. So I love oh. when computer people are like, oh, oh he's a fanboy. Yes. <laughs> go ahead. Go. I'm back, sorry. Right? He's like, oh, he's a fanboy. Yes, I am a fanboy. And plus, Apple paid me for years. So hello. Of course, I'm I'm not biting the hand that feed me. Come you on. know what I'm saying? I sleep in my lovely condo thanks to <laughs> Apple. Hello. <laughs> um, so, yeah. That, that that mentality that mindset all of that stuff like i'm not a fan of that so i just want to say that you can try all the tries but you could just get ecam and get started because i will Agreed. tell you there's two ways to do things right and again uh, right and again i want listen this is the hashtag you can there's two ways to do things right and again come on doc come on he, he says he's not a preacher but go ahead go ahead doc <laughs> That's it. I mean, really. So now the barrier to entry is down. Now the only barrier to entry is your excuses. And the maximum effective range of an excuse is about 0 0.3 feet. Sorry. Wow. Um, so just just do it. 
Man, I hate to steal Nike's thing, but just I'm an Adidas fan. Just do it though. Impossible listen, is nothing. Listen, though. listen, folks, <laughs> folks. This is you. You. I hope you've you've got your notepad out, your pen and paper, because honestly, um, what what Doc is sharing is great for live streaming. To be clear, it really is great for live streaming, but it is also really great for other areas of your lives as well. Um, that's that's gold that you're giving folks right there. But I want I want to talk specifically to um, some of the some of the mechanics, some of the hardware, some of the equipment. Right. So from basic to expert, because you just said it right. You said the bar for entry in terms of getting into live streaming has been lowered. I mean, especially during the pandemic. But some of these tools were here long before the pandemic. They've just been amplified because of the pandemic. Um, talk right. to us from, you know, depending on we've got folks in the audience who've never live streamed before, but they have a message they want to get out. We've got folks in the audience who have been live streaming for years, but not quite right. From basic to expert, what are the necessary components to be able to live stream? And 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 what what are some of the things that you personally recommend? I, we, we've heard Ecamm, but I'm talking about now, you know, do you recommend using a capture card and a Sony camera or something else? I know we're going to get Diana in in a second. I'm going to make sure she has a chance to jump on this question as well. You done started some mess. I know, Kurt. I know, I know. <laughs> listen, listen, Captain, listen. Um, <laughs> I love that name, by the remember, way. <laughs> remember that? Remember that part where I said there's two ways to do things right and again. Yes, that's Sony. He, Sony is the move. Hashtag period point blank. M50 people, I want to hear it. Yes, it works and it kind of works and whatever. But no, yeah. if you really want to do this and you're serious about it, and I know you guys are gonna be mad, but I don't care. Sony's the move because it just does things that you don't have to jump through any necessary hoops to get it to work. It just works. Now, right. that being said, right. I understand a lot of people are going to be coming in with nothing. You can straight up start with this, right? Please One of these that. joints, this is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. It doesn't even have to be this fans. Uh, you know what? I'll pull out the iPhone 8, but it's over there. You can pull up your iPhone, plug it directly into Ecamm. Ecamm will read it, and you can get to work and start streaming. The yes, number one thing that's going to mess up your streams has zero to do with gear, and it has to do with that region between your left ear and your right ear. That's Ooh. it. <laughs> that's it. That, that little bit of area. Oh mine is a size 8 area, so it's a lot of bit. You know, but someone with a little peanut head like Limwell, he may only have like a 6.78. That that little area between your left ear and your right ear is the only thing slowing you down from streaming right now. Wow. And that being said, I'm not answering any more questions because there's 42 people watching and 15 likes, so I quit. Yo, yo, so, listen, I, I I already know we've started an issue here. Look this check out check out uh Miss D's comment right here. She's like, I ask me questions. Ask me questions. She's like, I want that M50. Come on. So we're gonna we're gonna get her here and get her in here in just a second. But um I wanna I wanna take a second. Man, these comments are coming so fast I can't even catch up. This Only is 21. You guys are slipping. Come on, I need to see that joint pass over 30. I'm gonna just sit here and look at Kurt Lugan over it. <laughs> Listen, we got we got 49 people. We got 49 people. Listen, so here's here's what we got. Here's what we, I want to let me take this question off screen. I want to show I want to show folks uh, where they can find Doc. So DocRockTips.com. DocRockTips.com is under his lower third. So when we get back to the main scene, you will see that website on there. And then this is his YouTube channel. You're going to want to make sure you follow, follow. Fo Listen, and, and let me be clear. I'm not saying just follow for the sake of clicking the button. I'm saying make sure you go ahead and watch some content. If it's your bag, then go ahead and subscribe because he's going to continue yeah. consistently give you value in the areas that his channel is set up around. So I wanted to show that. You I make sure and learn something. Listen, you, you <laughs> may mess around and learn a little more than you bargained for, as you have seen from just what we've been sharing in the show thus far. But man, Doc, I can cannot thank you enough for taking a second. I'm going to drop you backstage for a second so we can give Miss D her shine, uh, give her the stage for a few minutes, and then we're going to bring you back in at the end when we do the giveaway. Right. And we do and we a wrap up. Clean up real quick. Because she's gonna get us if the area is not clean. Miss B is tidy, so we better clean up real quick. We That's got right. over. <laughs> All right, Doc. We'll, we'll catch you just in a second. Here we go. Miss D, Diana Gladney is on the channel. How it all works. I'm so excited to have you here. Let me tell you, uh, HIW family. Let me say something to you real quick. Um, I, I'm, I'm constantly checking out her stuff, man. She has live streams. She's constantly sharing information. She, I just I just love her directness. It's not it's not sharp. It's not 
I would even say it's shade, actually, Miss D. I think it's just <laughs> truth. Um, she just she answers the question that you're you may not have stated, but is the real question you're asking. And so I'm excited about having her on here. And, and notice all of my accolades. I didn't say anything about her being a monster in terms of content creation. She's got a, a whole class around that thing. It is amazing the work that she's doing. And 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 she just celebrated 10,000 subscribers. Can we see some claps in the comments? Can we see some hands going up in the comments? She just yeah. celebrated yeah. 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. And that is a testimony to the value that she's putting out into the earth and what is coming back to her is a natural response. And that's a God thing. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to leave it there. I'm not going, I'm not going to go any further, Ms. D. Yeah. I know, I know we vibe on this, but that's a God thing. Ms. D, take a Absolutely. second and just talk to folks about who you are, right? And the spaces you play in and, and your perspective as it comes to this whole idea of live streaming. Uh, first of all, Kurt, thanks so much for having me on your show. I'm super honor honored to be here. Um, hello to everybody in chat who's already uh, kind of mixing and, and vibing in the chat there. Yes, indeed. Uh, but yeah, man, it's definitely an honor to uh, be here and just to serve your community first and foremost. So thank you so much for that. Thank you. Thank um, you. I mean, I mean, for me, I mean, it's kind of a loaded question. So <laughs> uh, if, if I had to give a, a just a very brief uh, bit about myself, um, I do video marketing and consultation work um, with entrepreneurs, solo content creators up to some of the larger uh, brands. And I'm not going to do any name drop it or anything like that, but I've worked with some <laughs> very prominent people in the space as far as, uh, you know, when it comes to like editing and production work, which is sunsetting. And then when it comes to the video consultation, that's a lot of the work that I do. Mm -hmm. um, and so when it comes to that and the content that is on Entree Woman TV, which is my YouTube channel, it's all about helping entrepreneurs simplify their video creation process so that right. you can amplify your brand and your business using video. Well, part of that is the live streaming aspect. And um, I have been live streaming literally since day one. Somebody asked on the, uh, the help cast that we do on Fridays, like, how many live streams have you done? I was like, it's a good question. Let's go look. Yeah. There's like 213 live streams, oh, wow. you know, that's just on the YouTube channel. That's not even including the stuff that back in the day I, when I started on Facebook wow. and nor is that the recorded content either. So Man. it's like very interesting, the trajectory of the, the content and the journey that's happened and your vision can morph and it can yeah, change. And it can. So just being flexible with that has allowed me to literally, I mean, like it's weird to say, but like in doing a presentation, I was able to speak earlier this year at the Atlanta Black Chamber of Commerce. Uh, yeah. They held an event and stuff like that. And of course, it's live and uh, especially with the events of the year. And so one of the things that I was able to break down from an analytic standpoint, when we talk about the power of live streaming and the power mm. of sharing your messaging yeah. in these online mediums is that little old me in St. Louis, Missouri, you know, what I'm saying solo content content creator yeah sometimes i have a va working with me and things like that but you know more or less you can do something that puts you in places the size of seattle gets you that kind of exposure literally breaking those numbers down to the amount of people that have watched your videos the same amount of people that's in new orleans you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying like or as far as far as engaging the number of people that have commented is the number of these many people in this city and so really breaking that down on a granular level to get people to understand this is not a game <laughs> when we're it's talking not. about having global global exposure with a, G, a free Gmail and YouTube account. And so it's completely revolutionized and changed my life. And so moving into, uh, you know, quit my job May 10th, 2019, and Ooh. just been full time and living my best life out here in these streets. So <laughs> I just, I, listen, we, we share that. We share that. I, I'm almost one year to the day after you, May 20th. Uh, 2020 quit my job and yes. living my best life out in here's on, you know, <laughs> on these entrepreneurial streets it, you know, <laughs> out here in these entrepreneurial streets, streets. life is great you know and yes, so uh, I just have been wanting to just pour uh, as much of my gifting into my community and so to be able to hit 10,000 uh, subscribers is a, a huge milestone for me because I know how how hard it was and how important it was to me to hit 30 subscribers and so yeah. when you're talking yeah. about, you know, numbers and views and subscriberships and stuff like that, really putting that in the context, like it's some comedians that mm -hmm. can't put that many people in a room, but you have that many people coming to your channel wanting to learn more and, you know, learn more about what you're doing. So that's, you know, 
and again, just a little bit of the trajectory of, of how things have morphed on Entree Women TV. But again, I'm just whatever questions people have, I'm here to give. So uh, whatever questions, let me let's go. Let's get into it. Shoot. All right. I got I have two for you. And I, Kevin Lyons, okay. I saw your, your question. Um, we're going to get back to it when we get we get Doc Rock back on screen. So please, please hold that question. I'm going to call for them. I'm going to ask everybody to put questions in the comments with a queue in front of it. That way we can pick them out fairly easily. But but please hold your questions because I, I don't want to miss any of them. I saw some really good ones come by. Here's our first question, uh, Miss D. What are the benefits of live streaming over pre-recorded video? All right, and this is kind of, it kind of sort of deals with one or two of the questions that I saw flying in the comments there already. But mm -hmm. talk to us about pre-recorded versus live. The difference between pre-recorded content versus live streaming content is the ability to hide your inefficiencies and being able to hide what you do and do not know because you have time to research, and that's not a bad thing because it allows you to be very, very direct in a way that normal human communication doesn't happen. Like we can sit and banter back and forth for hours and it feels like minutes has passed between us. Yes. Whereas in a video, you already searched for something like it could be something very granular, like very simple, like how to cook a steak in a, on the stove, right? And if you see a video that's six minutes and 47 seconds versus a video that's three minutes and 23 seconds, you're going for the three minute video because somebody was able to achieve there the same is. point. Before. And so the social behaviors that people have when they're going onto a platform like YouTube is very different than when they come to a live stream. You have over 40 something people that have just come and say, I want for as long as you are going to be here, as long as I can be here mm -hmm. to the point you get into these live streams and people are like, I just want to stay like, dad, I got to go back to work or dad, I, my kids got to <laughs> go true. change. It's diaper. so true. Right. We happened to and us so, earlier today with clubhouse. Right. I mean, it's similar, exactly. similar scenario. Exactly. It's like, man, let me cancel this meeting because this is too live. But yeah, exactly. that is so good. That is so good. There's, there's something there's that. This is the benefits of live streaming that I think people mm -hmm. have missed houses of faith. I've been, I, I, a lot of my clients are, are houses of faith, are, are ministers, are churches across the country and, um, and, and other organizations, but mostly faith based. Mm -hmm. And what I keep on saying to them is these benefits of live stream didn't pop up in March, you know, when, exactly. when the pandemic shut things down. These benefits of live streaming were there all along. And, and you're just now realizing that you, these are things that, that you can leverage, but you've got to be intentional about what are you putting? What are you going to have the conversation about? Um, you're not going to exactly. get a chance to put a polished thing out there. Just like you said, you're going to have to tell somebody in the comments. I actually don't know the answer to that question. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder if anybody else can help. I mean, you're, you're, yeah. you are yeah. you are the expert, but you're also like the the, you know, air traffic control, right? You're just kind of keeping the ships going on time, right? If somebody has the answer in the comments, then let's get the answer. The, the point is that we want to make sure that questions are answered and that benefit and value is received from everybody all, all around. Even when I'm hosting, yeah. sometimes I get value uh, from people who are on the show, man. Thank you so much again for that yeah. answer. But but I don't you know. know you, like, go ahead. Go ahead. One thing about that is like the difference with live streaming and like that pre the, on the live streaming aspect. Yes, you get to be the conduit for what makes it to be the, the reason why people connect. Right. So it's no different than when we talk about like just mentioned hosting that room in Clubhouse, but you get to be the conduit. And, and I think sometimes people are so gung ho on trying to be the expert that right. they miss the value, the complete and total value of being the guide. Yoda did not have all the answers and Yoda didn't just sit there and it wasn't like Star Wars was not a Q&A session. So no. he was literally he could have the answer, but he would tell them, no, that, that that is not what you do. He's just like, <laughs> yeah. you know, <laughs> you know, uh, that was like, perfect. No, that was perfect. <laughs> You know, it's like so it's so like being that conduit is so much more powerful than trying to be the expert. You and there's a medium and a space for all things, but there's nothing. And I mean, absolutely nothing other than person to person, belly to belly interactions that happen in real life. Ooh. The only thing that comes close to that is live streaming, I, literally, live streaming. because that's and that's it. and it's OK if you don't have the answers. It's OK that you can't be the guru and the expert because your quality of your content and your competency of your content is what made people to show up to begin with in the conversation and that belly to belly similar type actions that actions. you can get on the live streams. You can be the conduit for conversations that really take on a whole other life when it comes to your content. So missing that is missing almost everything. 
Wow, 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 wow. Listen, folks, you're getting gold here. We got one last question for you, Diana, mm -hmm. before we bring in, bring back uh, Doc. And, and that is, you know, I know, and one of the reasons how I found you is because you've been leveraging uh, live streaming for business purposes, right? For, mm -hmm. for brands and for a number of clients. Um, and, and so I want to, want you to speak to, you know, what are some of the benefits that businesses need to consider businesses, brands, thought leaders. Um, I, I, I'm constantly having conversations with folk well, with, you know, who are like, well, can't I just go live and then stream a pre-recorded video? And I'm like, you're kind of defeating the purpose. And, and I just want, I want you to speak to what, what do you think some of the benefits are? What are they missing, um, from the live component? Honestly, that that questions and question that entrepreneurs that are new and just getting into live streaming, when they ask that is coming from a place of laziness. Let's just go ahead and call it what it is. I don't want to have to really do this, but I kind of want to do it so I can get the bit that does not exist. Like, right. Like we do the hard things and we do the hard work. And, and that's the reason why we get that success. So when you're asking that kind of a question, obviously not you specifically, but when entrepreneurs are yeah. asking that kind of a question, it's coming from a place of I just really kind of I don't I don't want to have to. Or it's like that's the same thing when it comes to the simulcasting. Can I go to Facebook and YouTube and Paris? And it's just like, no, <laughs> like we don't behave the same way. So when it comes to understanding the social behaviors of how your customer, your client, your ideal audience interacts with your content specific to the nature of a platform, they already have questions and have a desire to be in communication with you. And wow. sometimes being in the chat with 50 other people to be able to have community that they otherwise wouldn't get unless you hosted a meetup, unless you did something again, that was more of that belly to belly interaction that's not happening, nor can they really get a chance to connect with you. The thing that took progressive to like the insurance company to a whole other level is mm -hmm. when they came up with the personality of flow because people aren't buying from businesses and brands. They don't no. care. They buy from personalities, which is yes. why Nike exploded because they're like, we'll give you a shoe and we'll just throw our labor on it. But it's your shoe. You know what I'm saying? Because you'll buy a LeBron James shoe. You Even people talked about Shaq's shoes. But Shaq put more shoes on the feet of kids than a lot of people were at a specific price point with a there specific is. pain point. That's very because, true. Because, you know what I'm saying? Like, so when you think about the branding of your company, how your business is really being perceived, do you have to wait for them to guess about who you are, what you do, and how you serve them? Or do you want to be in a position to build community with them and establish the same reasons that even if Progressive doesn't necessarily answer all of those things about you need what your needs are for insurance you probably go with whatever old school company but your kids are not going to go with it they'll pick flow no. because of yes, they, they picked flow not progressive right no. you know what i'm saying so there it is. Same, it's, the, it's the same thing it was it was the so, same for all state with dennis haysbert i mean when he said are you in good hands all of us was like oh snap i need to are, get my life are we? right <laughs> are we exactly it's like, like Am that, I? that joint was a whole sermon man he was like are you exactly. in good hands i'm like oh no oh no man so you, Diana. Right, you need to consider the relationship that you're 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 saying most companies have a delusion yes. about how oh, are our customers and this you are most of the time lost and a lot of brands didn't pay attention to the shift that happened from your customers last year are the same people, but they're different people this yes, year. They're yes. very different and they're not going back. So it's not a get back to normal kind of a thing. It's not writing a trend kind of a thing. Yeah. The importance of, of having this going on with your business is really being able to relearn, reintroduce yourself, and also readdress the problems that are new that your existing customers or potential customers have, but they're new now because they're different, totally different people now. That's that's gold. That's gold. Folks, I want to make sure um, you guys have an opportunity to 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 follow uh, Diana Gladney. This is her website, dianagladney.com. It is in her lower third right under her name, dianagladney.com. It's one N in Diana. And then her her YouTube channel, uh, Diana Gladney. Entree Woman TV, as you can see up there, 10.2K subscribers. She is doing the dang thing. <laughs> Listen, uh, make sure you make sure you and again, I'm going to say the same thing I said for for um, for Sean Boyd. If you are following, if you're going to go and subscribe, don't just subscribe for the sake of subscribing. That's not what we're doing here. Um, if she is putting out content that you need that's answering a question for you and, and 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 there's more there trust me when i tell you you've heard her speak already there's a lot there please 
watch a few videos and make a uh, informed decision as to whether or not you want to subscribe and do that for all of your your youtubers out there if you got friends who are on youtube don't just subscribe <laughs> if you're going to subscribe you need to watch the videos you, you get the notification right. you're going to kind of need to go and watch it and and that's only going to happen if they're answering a question for you i know a lot of my friends right. are not into live streaming so i don't ask them to watch my videos that's just the way it mm -hmm. works so i appreciate mm -hmm. man listen so so much gold has been shared i'm to get yo doc you ready we want to get you back on here man here we go we're gonna get doc back in bam we got everybody on screen now and and this is this is what i'm gonna do right but right as we get ready to I, i'm gonna put this question on screen uh uh th this is not question actually this is this is the 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 parameters to be entered in for the the drawing here put your youtube subscriber count and channel name in the comments for a chance to win the two buddy legend plan youtube your your subscriber count and the uh your name your your youtube channel name so the subscriber count and channel name subscriber count and channel name whoever is closest to the number that we have already predetermined we will select the two closest and those two will get the two buddy uh, legend subscriptions uh we'll we'll make sure they'll connect with you uh, you'll see uh i think Kanique is on my wife is on my account in the comments so you'll see her um or just drop an email to, we'll 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 make sure we get contact with the people who are there okay so i'm seeing some coming in now um oh, Nedra, man, this is be intense Luke scott <laughs> riley's world yeah 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 sammy superstar good 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 church guy academy podcast curls of cpa Keep them coming. All right. So Kanik's in the comments. She's gonna she's gonna um, look at those. Let me just um, let me send her the, a message real quick. Um, and and while while folks are doing that, this is the question I want um, I want to ask our our guests to to, to kind of dive into. And while they're diving into this, um, be, uh, begin to put your uh, your questions in the comments with a Q your questions in the comments with a Q next to it so that we can start answering some of those. But yeah, this is the question. So from your extensive experience, share with us a few live stream best practices. Um, your your top one, two tips that you you know, it, even if it's simple, just, just kind of break it down for us, but share with us, either one of you. Um, you know what? Even before we get into that, I know we talked about the M50 and the Sony. I I I, I, oh, I kind of wanted to. I, I knew I, it was coming back. <laughs> I knew it. I, I, I kind of wanted, <laughs> I, I kinda wanted <laughs> to get that get that in here featured somehow, <laughs> some way. So, uh oh, here we go. Doc can ring the bell. <laughs> here we go. Hey, yo, I knew I need, it. I, need, I, just, I thought I need we were in the faster. corner. I need Duba to do the massage, right. and, you know, get a little Vaseline on get the face. Little, and, you know, come on, man. Get you ready? Here we go. Mike, Mike here Tyson we go. punch out. <laughs> little little <laughs> Mac. We got a little Mac out here. Piston Honda. Glass okay. Joe. Glass Joe, <laughs> man. <laughs> oh, Von Kaiser, man. Oh, man. That was my game. Anyway, anyway. So, yeah, I, I know I know some people are still dropping their stuff in. Um, Elicio is, is dropping his stuff in. Lem's dropping his stuff in. Uh, people are still dropping their their YouTube channels and their um, subscriber count in, which is so cool. Of course, you, you know we're, we're the the legend plan is is what we're what we're two who two YouTubes YouTubers are gonna get that from us today. Two YouTubes are gonna get that from us today. I'm gonna put this back up, but yeah. Um, so we talked about the M50. We talked about the Sony. I know, Dinah, what do you use? You use a um? Don't you have a? I'm full Sony. I'm, yeah, I'm full. I'm okay. Sonyed out. All right, you know? yeah, I, I was like, I thought you, you're at 60, 6400, 60, 61. A6400, A6600, more on the way. Woof. Okay. From the purpose of streaming, everything with the A and the 6 and the rest after that is irrelevant. They're all the same <laughs> for the purpose of streaming. Because a lot of people do that. They get twisted. Actually, to mm -hmm. be honest with you, from the 5100 forward, if there's a little teeny A yeah, and then two months. numbers and a bunch of zeros, for streaming purposes, they're basically the same across the board. Right, yep. right, 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 right. When, when you grow up and take it off the tripod, then we got problems. Now we got to talk about yeah. something else. Wow, wow, wow. Listen, listen, listen. Well, I've already got my information back here. Uh, to our two winners, our two winners, and I want you to I want you to send an email to info at howitallworks.com, howitallworks.com. 
works is spelled with an e our two winners is b love incorporated b love wow b love inc yeah wonder twin i I knew i and then um sante is sante b love Uh, twins Uh, is our one one of our winners and then the second winner is sammy superstar sammy superstar sammy superstar you are one of our winners sammy superstar b love inc you guys are our winners for the two buddy legend plan please email us wow. at info at how it all works.com um can you, yeah she just put it in the comments she's she's ahead of me bro <laughs> so it's good to have a you know a good a good partner in crime here man she she just put it in the comments so be love incorporated she oh she's real quick man and um and 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 sammy superstar put it in the, send us an email we'll make sure we get your information and we'll get that over to two buddy so you can get your legend plan activated we do have one See? more giveaway one more giveaway and that is uh for ecam live and so here's the thing right so ecam is only for folks who have max so i i don't want to give it to somebody who's not on a mac and then the other thing is i, I don't want to give it to somebody who already has ecam so if you have a mac and you don't have an ecam subscription i want you to just say um e ecl just type ecl in the comments ecl capital ecl type ecl in the comments if you don't have if you sorry if you have a mac and you don't have an ecam subscription currently type ecl in the comments and we will we'll collect those and we'll, we're going to select somebody from that to 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 uh to be the winner for that subscription so man let's yep. and can you don't apologize to pc users they did it to themselves <laughs> oh yeah i got both i got both i mean at the oh, end of the day man. i got both right and and yeah. people put themselves in camps that then detrimentally hurt themselves over trying to do what win the argument on the streams right. i have a lenovo i have an asus gigabyte brick and mm-hmm. i have six Macs. so whatever yeah. like even when i worked yeah. at apple i owned a pc so don't put mm-hmm. yourselves in camps for no reason it's a tool yo it is a tool when you go to put up your house when your hammer says stanley or black and decker or home depot or walmart it's all going to put that house up so right. mm-hmm. you have it's a hammer it is not you know louis vuitton or something it's a tool and a tool. it's yeah. actually a tool for you to make money with so get over it buy one I've, let's and, get it and that's the thing it's like i've had i had probably had a, a new pc i had bought a year prior to completely off the showroom floor like you know what i'm saying one of those out the box all of that a year later i'm like okay ecam live uh is something i really was like you know what? i just need to get this bought a mac like it's no question and i've had that same conversations with clients people fall in love with their phone type or they fall in love with their computer type and it's like what is the the fastest way to profit though what do we need for the efficiencies in the workflow in the business if that requires buying a second machine that's something different people have these brand loyalties that don't pay them anything it, it, it and it actually detracts from the business and so it's just like what's the point of holding on to that opinion that's not making you any money you know what I'm saying? Or that preference that's not yielding any kind of return on your investments. Like, well, we not broke. We don't. We, who said you were? We're talking about adding to that. <laughs> so, you know, but, you know, it's neither here nor there. Let's go ahead and get this M50 A, a, a Sony stuff out the way. Get a Sony. Yeah. Sony is the way. Um, wait, wait, you know, the guy next to me, the guy next to me takes up uh, uh, computers, Mac and PC, whatever. He takes old computers and he refurbishes them and he puts them out for free into the community for people who can't afford to get computers. So I love watching people of means talk about how they can't get a computer. So like the lady today was on the stream talking about um, she couldn't be in something because she didn't have a, or she couldn't use two buddy properly because she didn't have a PC that she could work it on. Oh, I'm like, yes. I bet you what Curtis does next door at Hawaiian <laughs> hope there's one in your community. So you can go find the person in your community that basically cleans old machines. So he takes them from the bank, the bank done bought new Dells. He cleans them up. Hey, a five-year-old Dell can run a browser, a yes. five-year-old Dell you can get for free tomorrow for free and put two buddy on it and get to work. Yeah. I don't 
you want to hear your excuses like I can't afford. And no, man, I don't want to hear it because it can Listen. happen. Listen, like, we, you got to go to the library. Yeah, what you got to use. Go I, we, library. we we ah. really didn't got it started now. We got it started now. Listen, we listen. I've I've got my I've got my 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 selection here. I want to just say real quick for those who are in the comments, man, drop your questions in now. Now is the time to drop your questions. Is we're we're ready for your questions. We are ready for your questions right now. But I want to ask Sean and Diana out of the letters that are on the screen right now. I want you to pick one letter. Both of you have to agree on a letter. What letter would you pick? D. D. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so, yes. so, so let me let me tell you what the letters represent. Okay, these are all of our people who uh, put in their names for Ecamm Live subscription. The L is for Lucas Scott, and we've got Just Nedra. We got Mister Camera Junkie. We got Tony Mobley. Guest and Pierre for G. Denali is D. And Denali, you are our winner for hey. Ecamm Live Pro. The yeah, S is for Sammy Superstar. And the P is for Press Save Now. So Denali, 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 hit us up. Info at howitallworks.com. We will connect you with Caleb over at Ecamm Live. And we'll get That's your funny. subscription started. Started. I know you Denali. You got Diana on screen. And then you was like, what letter are you going to pick? And like the <laughs> twins, just like the twins, we said, D like at the D. same, the same time. time. Of <laughs> course, they go pick D. It was, it was unfair. Yeah. It was it was a setup. It was a setup. But Doc, <laughs> De, um, Denise and Oliver, uh, Marcel, they were on the clubhouse earlier today. They're good friends of mine. If you like the beat that you heard in the intro, and if you like the beat you heard in the countdown clock, both beats were made by by Oliver Marcel, and they are Denali together. Denise and Oliver are oh, Denali. Beast. So, so beast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I'm so glad that they're gonna be the winners for that. So info at how it all works go ahead and hit us with that i am looking to see if we got any other questions uh while well you know while we we got i saw while we still have you yeah no go ahead and let's let's deal with let's deal I with the ones one. that you saw and, and it had to do with uh balancing the time right yeah i i i, I hate to be mean because everyone has their own situations but i have a love-hate relationship with that thought the thought that it takes a lot of time, the thought of it alone is kind of going to cripple your situation. You have to know it. If someone said to you, I want you to put in eight extra hours a week to do what you're doing for creating. And if you can do that for a year solid, I will just pay you a million dollars. There's not a single person that would not figure out a way to make it happen. Right. <laughs> Put it in those terms, not, sir. Put it in those single, terms. Not a single one, right? If I told you put in the extra eight hours of work a year, I mean, a, a day to do something, I didn't even have to be this. And at the end of that year, I was fitting to give you a million dollars, you would no problem. But you know what the possibility is, though? If you actually did that and you did this price stuff, and you followed the steps and you built your tribe and you did the marketing, you could 10, 15 X that, honestly. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, yeah. not, I'm not everybody's going to be Mr. Beast, but he's way past that million. So yeah, it's the idea of guaranteeing that, you know, you're going to get it. Then you would put it in the work. But like, if you don't guarantee, you know, you're going to get it. You're not put you in the work. In the work. If that was the way it worked, not a single one of y'all would be married. Not one. <laughs> he so said, y'all come up with this stuff. Where do you guys come up with this stuff? And like, Again, like Ms. D said, you're trying to find ways to be lazy about it. And I'm speaking from experience, people, because I did it. I was right. always trying to find ways to be lazy about it. I was always trying to find ways to just get it out quickly and whatever. And it doesn't work. work. You got to be committed. You got to dive in. You got to have the faith. You got to trust in yourself. You got to trust in your tribe. You got to trust the process. You literally just have to do it. Once I committed and start doing it, it was like overnight shine. It was crazy. So you guys stop looking for shortcuts because they don't exist. Let me let me and throw this one up here. Clarification. Yeah, go ahead. D, D, um, just, go. They were actually just clarification saying balancing the runtime uh, of your stream versus oh, yeah. keeping it value rich. Well, that um, was a different think, question. <laughs> yeah, it was. I thought it was the same right. one that you were asking, but no, this okay. is a different question. Go ahead. No, let's go. To, let's go to the next one then. We can because we can keep the flow. We're getting. No, to no, it. no. This this one. This one's good. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So uh, when it comes to like balancing the runtime of your stream versus, you know, keeping it, some people will like, here's the thing, have a plan, have a run of your show. If you looked at the way that Kirk started the beginning of this show, it's a system, it's a process. You look at the beginning of Docs or iStream, 
then it's a system and a flow. And then at some point it gets into a Q&A. And at that point it's pure community time, right? It's a mixer a, it. as far as that's concerned. But mm -hmm. if you look at this last live stream that I did, which was yesterday, that is <laughs> that was going good. into a run of show just like like before. I come on and, hey, what's up, entrepreneurs? Welcome back to the live stream. Today we're getting ready to dive into title screen comes on. Boom. As I'm saying, the title screen. In the same way that I would produce uh, a recorded video today, we're diving into the three ways that you can get X, Y, and Z. Um, so let's go ahead and get into that real quick. Let's go ahead and dive into the chat. And whether you're watching this live on the replay, thanks for being here. We got Elaine in there. We got B Love INC in here. We got, you know, so, and yeah. then get into the content. Like, hey, hey, what's up? I see y'all. I see you, all the people in the chat. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you. Go ahead and drop your questions. Let's go ahead and dive into tip number one. Boom. Right. Tip number Boom. one happens get to the relevant questions. And so having a run of show and how you execute it makes sense. So it, it won't matter if people show up or if people don't, because nope. you want to create your live stream where it's maintain, maintaining the integrity yes. of the replay value. That the point to where oh. you just come on and say, all right, y'all, waiting on a few more people. Let me see what I can move around, make a lot of noise, because that's a thing. And it's just like <laughs> waiting for a few more people is the word. Like you're you're basically saying, Thanks for coming on time. I no longer care about you. I'm trying to wait for numbers because I need to feel good about that. You see, you see, we, you know what I'm saying? Like, so Woo. we now need to get over that and get to the point of why are you doing the content or whatever. So when it comes to maintaining the integrity of the, sh the stream and how long should it be, it's mm -hmm. the same way with regular video content, as long as it needs to be a no longer. And at the point to where your community wants to engage more with you, you have to one, allocate time for it. Yes. Um, I'm at the point now where I've pretty much got to have to clear my calendar for a couple hours. We went from a 30 minute live 30 stream minute. to one hour live streams, two <laughs> hours, hour. two and a half hour live stream to the, the, the current reigning champion recently is five hours because the community kept energy. asking questions. Now, yeah, it's the hashtag five hour energy. Five hour energy. Like, is this yep. going to be another one? And here's the funny part. Everybody keep like, when are we going to do another one? I don't know what club y'all think I run, but this <laughs> is not at no, the club. You, okay? Listen, you, go you're, home, you are so dinner. right. I'll... You know, it's like, no, go no, ahead, no, yeah, no, no, good, 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 good. I, I was, no, I was just like, going to say that you know, a lot of, a lot of creators, um, a lot of creators, they come in and they do like, I'm going to do an hour and then the end of the hour, then they just cut it off. And, hey, that's you. That's cool. For me, yeah. I want to make sure that I answer everyone's questions because I'm trying to help as many people come like, up as yeah. I come up with. Yeah. So, right. It's not about mm -hmm. my time. So I kind of clean that out. Sometimes, you know, the other work or something comes up, but I try my dang this to make sure that I am yeah. going to get to everyone's question in the stream. And you did a great job this morning, by the way. And it was, it was just yeah. crazy. It was bananas. It was. Had to stop it was. At some point. Yeah. <laughs> but you, yeah. you almost hit five hour energy on the on the clubhouse. So Straight it's up. a thing. Bro. It's a thing. And, it really and is. And again, it's it's the giving process versus what am I getting yeah. out of this, right? I'm exactly. coming in from the giving process, and then the come out is going to come automatically. So that's oh, the reason man. why. I try to stay there, even if it requires me. Yo, I gotta go. I gotta be so bad. I say that all the time. Man, I gotta get to the shop. Y'all, y'all gonna keep holding me. All right, let's get to the next let's question. To it's the like next I don't even know why you say it. It's the same way. Like I say, all right, y'all, it's gonna be quick. That is such a big joke on it the is, channel. It's gonna it be is. quick. It's never quick. Quick it's is like quick. two and a half hours, and somebody will throw. Hey, it's been two hours. It's like y'all mind y'all business because if I leave, everybody gonna be hitting me up on Instagram. Like, what you leave for? <laughs> Listen. So, you know, mm -hmm. but that's that's the thing. Your live streams are a gift if you keep and, and that also is most of the time followed by how do I monetize my live streams when they're like, well, how do I make this work? You if you're trying to constantly just get money out of people like you are very much so seen as a leech trying to be off your community. And it's like, well, when y'all gonna pay my rent? What? You know, it's mm -hmm. like, <laughs> you know, it's like it's like and so you, you really have to think about the, the what's behind the question. Right. When you and when people are asking that and there is a place for monetization strategies, we we'll probably get into that that kind of stuff later. But if your intent when you show up is like you one, have a set amount of time that you're going to give. That's a gift. This is a gift to my community. That's why it's called the help cast. I'm here to help you at that point. It's like that goes over. Y'all need more help or something like that. At some point. Yeah, I got to call. I'm like, hey, y'all, <laughs> I know it's a kid someplace waiting on some <laughs> more. Juice. Like, yeah, I got to go. I'm Listen, I'm out. It's enough. But. It's a gift and it's time for me to be with my community. Yes. And I don't, we don't call it entree fam or the uh, let's get live fam for no reason. We're building family communities around a core messaging and a theme. And there's a place for the business and there's place for community. So really understand when you're separating the two, 
and when you can implement those things that monetization makes sense and your audience is going to give to you and like you have to won't you know what i'm saying like it's a place for that it's a place there, for it there is there is wow that's everything that you've said is golden i know curls of a cpa said uh, asked the question about do you advertise or do you just kind of keep them random i always advertise mine i want to let yes. people know that it is it is happening um i, I always try yeah. to have a little flyer do something in canva or do something in something else whatever you want to use photo p whatever um photoshop even even keynote i mean bradley has been teaching me on keynote so uh, that's a whole thing that's now tough. but but do something do something to let people know something that's eye-catching something's going to let people know I am going to be live at this time and what that purpose mm -hmm. is. Right. So just like um, Ms. Yes. D said, I mean, if it's a help cast, if if this is for you to share a specific set of tips, then tell them that's what you're going to do. If this is for you to actually just kind of, you know, maybe do one or two things that are scripted, then you're going to open it up. Let them know, hey, we're going to have we're going to be helping folks here. Right. I, a good friend of mine, Leslie Samuel, he does a, a coaching yes. like an open coaching session every Thursday night. And let me be clear, I know what Leslie charges his clients. Exactly. So what when he does that coaching session on Thursdays, I'm in the audience. Why? Because I know what he charges his clients. And he know and listen, it's called coaching with Leslie. He's very clear about it. There's a flyer about it every week. And even though it's every Thursday and he's consistent, you see there's the C word again, right? He's consistent with it, right? I'm just gonna say it a third time because reputation and deepens the impression. Cause he's consistent with it. People already know and they see that that yep. flyer come up, they see that that color they're like oh that's leslie he mm -hmm. went live let me go jump in because he's coaching folk and this is a space where he's actually helping us so i've got my questions ready and i'm coming there to be assisted and again yeah, yeah. just like uh, miss d said doc said a couple of times you're, you're building out a community and a platform you want to make sure you're, you're providing value to them i mean i i just can't yep. say that enough uh it should not be the other way around what you are you getting know, you know what's important to know yeah, go ahead um so i was the, i was a drive-by streamer right and I, I mentioned this all the time like i used to just come in when i felt like it when i had a time or whatever i would just do whatever and then my mentor and partner in crime stephanie lou was like dude you got to cut that out you need to let people know that come tuesday come saturday you will be in your chair and you will be ready to answer right you're gonna be where you at and um the reason wh why that makes a difference is because then they have a chance to schedule their time Right. See, at first I was thinking about it as me. I can just do it when I want to because it's my uncomfortable. It's my stream, blah, blah, blah. But when I start saying I need to be there for them, right. I need to be there to answer their questions. I need to give them time to adjust for Anthony to get his Jackson fed. So Jackson sleep. He's still right there. But I got to give him time so that when yep. I'm there, then they knew where to be. Right. I couldn't come up with I'm going to be where I'm at. I'm not Martin Lawrence. I had no. to be where I needed to be. Mm -hmm. And then you just got to remember, fam, hashtag you need to show up to glow up to glow up. They need to know where, you need to know where you're going to be. Right. And then to curl's other question, how many people is a good audience? One real quickly. Mm -hmm. I got a person that I coach who was like, man, only three or four people show up to my streams. I'm tired of doing this, whatever. I was like, stay there. He's like, no, but I'm stay there. And then he was doing a stream one day. He's smoking Davidoff cigars and stuff. So in his audience of the five people that was there, one of them was the brand manager for Davidoff. And now he's working on a brand deal with Davidoff because the content is fire. It just hasn't blown up yet. And some brands get, you want to get the person before they yes. have a million followers because yes. I can buy them cheap. Some brands want to come in and know, again, it's that point. They want that guaranteed return on investment. But if you listen, what, did your mom have a guaranteed return on investment on birthing you? No. Nope. Some of y'all didn't give her back her, her investment. <laughs> come on. Right? Come on, Some Doc. Just, hey, I did. Okay. I blew hey. My mom was able to go up in church, be like, ooh, my boy, he ran three interceptions and a couple touchdowns. Ooh, my boy, he in college. Ooh, my boy done joined the army. So, like, I did. I gave my mom her return to her investment. You know what I'm saying? She was able to brag to her friends what I did. But some of y'all ain't do that. So, that's just what it is, you know? So, stop worrying about the return on investment and just do the work. Yeah, because your audience is giving. They're, it's like you have to give up your time. And what most people miss about live streaming, live streaming is built on trust. I need Ooh. to trust my time with you yes. because my time is valuable too. I don't know where this ideal comes from with, with some entrepreneurs where it's just like, I need to get paid for my time. And it's like, your job isn't even giving you that much money for your time currently. So let me, let me you know, throw it's a few. Like how, you know, like your LLC just getting set up yesterday don't necessarily mean, man, he needs to pay me a thousand dollars a video. It's just like, come on. 
let's let's develop some value here yes where you earn that because subscriberships on youtube are earned watch time on youtube is earned, earned. And people showing up on to your live stream is earned you have to consistently show up to show one i'm going to be here number two to prove to them that you're going to give value because i don't know what you're going to do with my time and even though you have a business you have a whatever you have a value proposition yeah the videos are cool i don't know what you're going to be like in a live stream and i really mm. don't know if the character i see on the channel is the character that i'm really going to get and interact with or is it just going to be like hey that's a great question go ahead and head to my host gordon go go to www dot and it's just like if it's just a plug what? all the time it's like i could have just clicked on the link checked it out and left if and that's left. what i wanted to see. right so you're you're, you need to earn the views, earn the attention of your audience because two of the biggest of commodities. Yeah, Ooh. the biggest commodities right now is attention and access. And you're asking people of that and they can't get that back. You know what I'm saying? Like once you make an introduction to somebody, if that goes sour, they know who introduced them. So having access to people matters and their time uh, and the attention of those people matter as well because they're giving you that. So if they're going to give to you, you need to earn that and and know, like, I'm going to value you. I'm going to take care of you. This is home here. So, you know, when you come and you're looking for this, anytime you think of video simplified, Entree Woman TV. Anytime you think about Think Like a Creator, Doc Rock. Anytime, you know what I'm saying? Live streaming, yes. you need to go to you know what I'm saying? all those different things. And so, you know, it's just like, so having the proper perspective and mindset shift around the live streaming content absolutely will revol revolutionize how you produce that content how you consistently show up or if you show up at all. At all. Listen, I got two quick ones. Uh, one is for Diana. Please tell me the headphones you are using for uh, my microphone. So I think maybe she has the same mic you have and she just wants to know what headphones you're using. So uh, new setup, <laughs> but these are still the original iPhone headphones that came with the whatever iPhones that you can order on Amazon for like $10. $10, um, yeah. Simply and I, and I just go with these. I get that. And I like I also share it with her in the, in the chat as well. Docs, okay. Uh, okay. Using in-ear monitors and things like that. Either is very affordable. However, um, I use these specifically because they're catered around voice. And a lot of the work that I'm doing is catered around voice. And so just for that baseline, whatever, um, mm -hmm. Docs uh, in-ear monitors are great because they give a flat response so you can more accurately hear yeah. what it is you're trying to hear. But um, these are good because you probably already have them. Um, and you can do some damage with uh, a little bit. So just the regular iPhone uh, headphones will work well. Yeah, listen, so um, L Lucas is asking, thank you so much, Diana, for, for giving that detailed answer there. Lucas is asking, does Ecamm use computer processing power or is it all browser-based? I'm wondering about smooth live streaming with screen share to to video editing live. And um, Lucas, I can tell you, I have done, what, what I have seen you doing, Lucas, I have done with Ecamm and Yes, it is computer processing power based. Not it's not at all cloud based, like not at all. But um, as long as you've got, you know, uh, an able, <laughs> a well spec machine, you're going to be fine. And so definitely let's let's chat further on that. I don't know if any of you guys wanted to touch on that any further, but uh, it is. Yeah, Lucas, I've, I've done a stream with six guests and two 3D animated spinning 4K overlays. Um, at the same time, playing music, pulling questions on streams, the whole nine yards on a basic, straight out the box, bottom of the line M1 Mini. Right. M1 Mini does the job. Um, yeah. I mean, listen, you, yeah, those I'm definitely in the market for, for, uh, for, oh, really, the 8 gig? Yeah, I said bottom of the line. Like, he opened straight all bottom the apps. Of the line. He highlighted all the yeah. apps. Oh my and hit goodness. Open, and all you heard was. <laughs> I opened and 50, in the middle of the stream. I opened in the 52 middle of the apps. Stream, it blew. Just and because it, and people were talking spicy and, and <sighs> getting. And, and it can't do. This and it only has eight minutes. I go, okay, in the middle of the stream with, again, blue. six guests, right? Five the regular way and one from Skype. And plus the two 3D animated things spinning. I opened 52 apps. And wow. I'm just like, Yo, some folks make excuses. I make it happen. Wow. 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 I, I, I did not know that I will be looking up that. I will be looking for that because I want to see that. Elicio, I sent you a link, brother. Come talk to us. Listen, I'm, we're five minutes over our time. I want to just be mindful. I, 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 know, mindful. I know you did tell Nick how we work, right? You put both of us on thinking you fit. I, I know. Done. 
I know, I know we're not gonna be done. So this is this is what I want to say to my my regular folk. Listen, if you've got a role, we recognize that your your time is precious, and you you signed up for an hour. But listen, it's gonna it's gonna go longer today. It, it's just it just is. It's gonna go longer today. So if 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 you got a role, we understand. But um, we want to take a couple more questions, and we want to chop up a little more. We're gonna cut up a little more. This this has been too much fun. Hey, you remember um, those uh, old school Cowboys and Redskins on Thanksgiving? Like four overtimes in joint. Oh and yeah, and we cut cut into the Disney thing at the end. Yeah, that's where we at. Here at the yeah, he, works, he just we're going over. <laughs> we going over. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That that's a good voiceover. I might need to record that. Cut that piece out of Diana. Look, so Lucas just responded. He said he's 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 about to swap for an M1 Mini. So you'll be mm -hmm. good, Lucas. You 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 won't have any problems. Um, somebody saying, uh, da, 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 try that on a 2010 MacBook Pro. No, don't Let's do that. Let's not get it twisted. Hold on. Hold on. Let's not get it twisted. <laughs> okay. Because Sammy. Last year, Sammy. I had a, I ran a 2013 eight gigabyte MacBook Pro. Now I'm not saying it's going to run like the M1, but I ran Ecamm and everything else that I did on my channel from the time that I switched. Cause I bought a Mac solely for Ecamm live and for Final Cut Pro 10. Cause those are Mac only uh, software tools. Okay. I ran a 2013 MacBook Pro, eight gigabyte, no video specs, you know, like all the things that you should have that this one has. Right, right. It didn't have it, and I still did all of the same things. So it's like now you have to manage that with the the new stuff that is out there now as far as right. the eCam and what it can do. But you can still do a whole lot of damage even with that. Now, not a MacBook Air, MacBook Pro. Pro, But a 2013, right. so let's not get it twisted on the, the capabilities of eCam Live. You, you're not, not stopping the show. If you have an older machine, it's not going to run like an M1, but at no. the same time, you do a whole lot of damage. I, I, I got a, I got a comment on the screen here, here, and I, I'll, I'll take it if either you don't want to StreamYard or Ecamm. And so Ecamm. they said, LOL. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to start problems. Y'all yeah, asked about the M50 versus the yeah. Sony. You asked about, you know, you asked, ask it, <laughs> y'all asked all the bad questions. That's a good thing. That's fine. Here's the Listen, thing. Listen, I, I, my, go ahead, Ecamm. go ahead, go ahead. Undeniable. Undeniably ECAM. And here, and I don't have a problem with people that want to use StreamYard because again, if that's what you need to do to get access, fine. But that is also for most of the people. They're trying to, well, I'm just gonna try it out and I'm just gonna try to it's okay. Have fun wasting your own time when you're trying to do and replicate the things that you see. Get they, and that's the problem that question comes from for a lot of people. And I know that is a joke why it has the LOL. But for those that really do want to know, it's like honestly. Most of what you see, the people that are using Ecamm, they'll go to StreamYard thinking like, well, why can't I do this and this now or whatever? And you're spending way more money for less quality uh, production, just to be completely honest, um, as far as that's concerned. And the community is more. everything when it comes to Ecamm. Hey, like Ecamm hopped in the stream <laughs> at the beginning of the stream. Like me and Doc connected because of the Ecamm live community. Literally, there's tons of people in the chat right now that I got to know because of the Ecamm Live community. So yeah, it, yeah it's a tool, yeah. but also what are you investing into also? Oof. And there's plenty of times, plenty of times, early beta beta testing, now getting to af alpha testing for Ecamm Live before they ever knew who I was. Channel was nothing about, you know what I'm saying, nothing. They took that same level of severity that people are like, oh yeah, now it's gonna be good for you, 10K, da 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 da. So that same clout that people think that happens at 10,000 or whatever, and working with the brands and all those different cute accolades, Ecamm Live still treated me the same way they do today with that same level of intensity of respect. When I brought a problem where it's like, hey, can't we do this? They look at it, you like, oh, we can do that. Can't, can't. He's like, yeah, let's go. Tomorrow, in like two days, 48 hours, it's out. That's I yep. talked about 10 EP with the other company. And it's just like, well, it's, oh, all right. All right. All right. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, yeah. What, what I'll say is this, and because I, I know for a lot of my folks uh, who follow me on this channel, and a lot of you are StreamYard heads, and what I'll say is this, man, because, and, and I think one of the things that drew people to my show and to my, my, my videos on how to customize is because I was able to do things that they had not seen done on the platform before, but that took a lot of work. And as you've seen in some of the videos that I've put out in terms of, you know, custom graphics, custom design, custom lower thirds, backgrounds, all that stuff, I'm actually doing a song and dance to make StreamYard do some of the things that Ecamm does natively. 
just right out the box. So there's, mm -hmm. yeah, there's, you still have to do some design, you know, so the background that you're seeing on the screen right now, the, the lower thirds, the squares that you see us in, all of those were designed, but it's just way easier. I have flexibility to make, you know, videos, any size that I want. Ecamm, again, to me, when we're talking about that bar for entry that, that, that Doc talked about earlier in the show, it's, 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 yes, it has been lowered and, and StreamYard to me is that first rung. Like if you want, if you just, you haven't done anything, man, get a free account on StreamYard and just kind of get your feet wet in terms of actually going live. Yes. But, but if you are actually looking to get some things going, like for real, for your brand, and you want to put some polish on it, you want to put some shine on it. I would say do the work, do the, make the investment uh, for Ecamm to be able to learn the platform, to be able to do a live stream properly and to leverage the, the the freedom and functionality that's in this toolbox. That's what I feel like Ecamm is. It's a toolbox. And what I often say to folks yep. is Ecamm, it's all in the name. It's turning your entire Mac computer, Mac to be specific, into a camera. I mean, it is, it's everything. Everything is there. And um, the yep. video editing aspect of it in terms of the scenes and how you can run everything together is phenomenal. And then you add on top of that the virtual camera. Folks, the virtual oh, camera is a listen. game changer. Game changer. I mean, it's just, yeah. you you can't, I, so even as we, we, I don't even know that there's a comparison really. I think that you kind of need to, if you if you understand Gage and Dan at StreamYard, you know that their, their target audience is to keep it simple, to keep it light. Mm -hmm. And so if that's you, there's no shade. <laughs> you know, what we talked about earlier in terms of being a fanboy, if that's where you are, do what you gotta do. But I will, rec I will say, just like Diana said, just to, just like Doc said, look, the three of us know one another. Well, I know I know the two of them <laughs> because of the Ecamm community, period, point blank, end of story. That's where we met. That's where we yeah. became friends. And so there is a, a value add that Ecamm is offering folks in their community that mm -hmm. I think is above and beyond anything that you're going to see in terms of features and functions on a platform. So I want to I want to just put that out there. I, I again, I still love StreamYard for what it is, but I recognize its limitations. I know where the boundaries are in that box and they're very real and they're high. You can't just jump over them. <laughs> so but but Ecamm really does allow you a lot of flexibility. There, there comes a time, Kurt, where again, and I understand people like so don't get me wrong, but I say this. I try to say it as painful as possible because you need to understand that this is a real thing, right? If you keep taking the easy way out, you can't expect for the magic to happen a certain way. At some point in time, you got to work, right? And then so, um, you know, if it makes you understand it better, there are teams that do nothing but throw the ball, throw the ball, throw the ball, three receivers hurt. Now they're in the basement wishing they had a ball to running back, right? So at some point in time, um, you, you, the advantage of coming to a platform like Ecamm is yes, it's easy and yes, you can get in, but what you're paying for in that monthly fee or whatever, isn't mm -hmm. some end to end speech uh, feature or anything special like that. It's, it works as peace of mind. And the other thing about them, which it's actually cheaper than StreamYard, um, they listen to the folk, right? If I'm in the beta mm -hmm. community, um, not in I, I run a beta community, but if I'm running a beta community and someone says, "Hey, you know what? This is really good. Um, I wish I could get transparency on a on a thing," and they're like, "Okay," and the next beta, "Okay, Chris Wood, here's your feature," and Chris Wood's like, <laughs> "You know," and then Bradley's <laughs> like, "Oh, I'm I'm loving this overlay camera, but you guys know, as a designer, I'm in love with circles." Two days later, here you go, Bradley. Here's circles. your circles. And, and now it's literally the Bradley Vincent circle feature. Like <laughs> it's the thing. So they it's listen to their people. It's, it's a real thing. I, and I don't know from experience, but I've heard people say that when they were using StreamYard, they've been waiting for this update and it's, we've been waiting for this update for like months. And I'm like, they have the subscribers and from what they charge per month, they should easily be able to put in the work to go and address what the people are asking for, but they don't necessarily move that quick. And whether that's out of fear or whether that's out of, you know, being afraid to, met, buy, you know, do something wrong or whatever, I can't speak for them on that. But I know that between the twins and the team, when enough people say this is what we need, it happened. So, hey, you know what? I'm in the community. I can't find Cam Link nowhere. I, nowhere can I find a Cam Link. This is not working out for me. Two days later, hey, guys, you don't need a Cam Link. If you have this camera, this camera, this camera, this camera, this Boom. camera, plug in the USB plug cable, in USB it works. That's... 
and everybody, and I mean, everybody community win. What? What? Like you could do that, mm -hmm. and they were like, "Yeah, here we go." That's it's and the people, it's, man. Straight up, the people they care about you. They do. And that's the thing. Like, so when the Sony ZV One came out, got a rental unit in the office to test for the channel and do content on it. And those videos exist on the channel. I reached out to them and I said, "Hey guys, I got the ZV One in the office. I'm not seeing it on the list. I'm seeing X, Y, and Z. That's different from X, Y, and Z camera." Um, can we push this through? 24 hours later, ran a test, got the updates, try this, that it worked. Update came out. So it's just like, and, and and let's not get it twisted. This is not because there's some, again, some level of assumed clout of who Doc and I am or other creators are. Again, had that same response time and the way that they, when it came to testing, the reason why the Canon and 50 series and all that stuff talks a lot about the streams at the time was already Ecamm after I converted to Mac and all that stuff was because I'm like, hey, doing beta, beta testing and stuff like that. And it's just like, this is happening or this now or whatever, or be cool if we could have this update comes out. So that stuff, it, it, you know what I'm saying? It just, you're a, a, a person that is doing business with them. You're in the community, your voice matter. And that was like huge to me. So again, it's not just about the pricing. It's not just about the features, but Ecamm has all that. But more than anything, it has just been like, it's, it's been an incredible experience and, and use case with them and amplifying the business uh, as a whole. Everybody has their, their their thing. Do what works best for you. But if y'all asking, it's Ecamm. Buy a e Mac and use yeah. Ecamm. Like, I don't care if you use PC. Buy a Mac and use Ecamm. And I've had several clients that do that. Someone's asking about the power. Um, they got people on Ecamm that uh, Brandt, I don't know if Brandt's here. Brandt runs on, on a 2010 MacBook Pro with 16 gigs. Yeah. But you're not going to do what Kurt's doing right now <laughs> on a 2010 no. MacBook Pro. No. But if you're going to put your, you know, your your Kansas and your beard and your camera and your beer and you're going to talk to people about they should get this, you know, custom micro brew and you're not going to do too much others, it works. Like they go back as far as the 2011 MacBook Air. So it's not again. It doesn't use that much processing power yeah. until you start getting nuts. When you get well, nuts, it can do that too, though. What I want to, I want to, I want to throw this up here for everybody. Um, uh, Lem, thank you for reminding me to put this on screen. But I, I don't have the exact link to my Ecamm affiliate link right, right offhand, right off the top of my head. But I do know that it is available right here. So if you go to link dot bio slash Kirk R Nugent. Um, babe, if you could put that in the chat real quick, but link dot bio slash Kirk R Nugent, my Ecamm affiliate link is there. Several other links are there as well. So check it out. But the Ecamm affiliate link is there. Kirk, and so Kirk needs me, Bradley. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling your wife because that way to get done. It, it probably sure will. It probably re will. Re <laughs> Bradley. R E D R A N D L Y. Right. You missed the live stream where I was giving away several several of those so you could have that's why that's Doc actually got it. It was like he was in the stream that day. And I was like, ah, I have like eight talk to me. Uh, talk to me. And stuff. I was like, okay, so uh I was doing the Wheel of Wonder, which is the giveaway. And for those that are here, you guys soon, by the way. That, that's gonna be this Friday. We're gonna go ahead and do the, this Friday at noon. Uh the ten K giveaway, giving away a switch pod, giving away a year subscription uh of uh Ecamm Live uh the pro account, it's an annual account. So you'll get access to that. Um, so a couple of the great things that's going on on the channel, but those are two uh, major things that are being given away on the channel there. And nice. then it's like, uh, <laughs> you know, it's like that, that got me distracted. <laughs> the 10K giveaway is a lot of fun. But it the is, Wheel of Wonder is. was I was like, OK, I have eight rebrandly accounts so you can have all of these in type things other than dot com. Um, and I was like, and that way you can have the Diana.link or DocRock.link forward slash whatever it is that you want to create. And you can track it. You get analytics. You get data for it. Ooh. And so I just um, the Wheel of Wonder is kind of like the the um, whatever the uh, one show is where the, the whatever it's called. I can't remember. Wheel, Wheel whatever of Fortune. TV show. Wheel of Fortune. Right. right, right. So I'm like, but this is better because it's the Wheel of Wonder. All right. Come I on. Put this come stuff on. Not Fortune. Wonder. Away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I and love so it. Doc was in the chat. And so I was like, whoever DMs me at the next eight people, first come, first serve, I'll give you these URLs. And so uh, URLs is just like digital real estate. So like, do you it own is. your name? Do you own your brand? Do you own, you know, those different things? So rebrandly uh, is, it's like the word rebrandly.com uh, is an excellent uh, resource if you're trying to get into that so that you can have that access without having to have like a physical web page. It's like, oh, I need to build. No, this is just 
redirecting for the URLs, but keeping it on brand for your business. Ooh, I love that. Yep. Definitely got to definitely got to do that. Listen, I'm learning here today. I'm learning as well, folks. I'm I'm, I'm one of you today. Listen, <clears throat> somebody said in the comments, I can't find it now, but they were saying, um, you know, I went into my Zoom meeting with the Ecamm uh, uh, virtual camera and blew folks away and landed a, yep. a, a, a very sizable deal. I think it was Kevin Lyons that said this. Um, yeah. Yeah, one more. He says, he says one more. On more than one occasion, I've been on a video yeah. call with one of the co-founders of Glenn, of, of you know, Glenn diving deep. You know, so he's saying yeah. service like no other. So he's just kind of agreeing. But I just wanted to mm -hmm. echo this thing, man. Listen, Ecam, it's not just a, it, yes, live streaming. Yes, absolutely does that, hands down, bar none. Oh. But also oh. that virtual camera, just it just it explodes in terms of opportunities and things that you can do with the system. I've what you're seeing on screen right now, I've done this same kind of presentation um, for conferences that I've gone to where I where was, was, you know, I had a co-speaker with me and people were blown away. They get in the Zoom room. They're like, how are they doing this? They're not even focused on the content that we came there to speak on. They just want to know, how are you doing this? Right. So Ecamm mm -hmm. is that is that platform. And it really does help. I see David Hunt has a question here. He says uh, in Ecamm interview mode, can there be an option to switch the video or audio source? I'm 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 thinking about that interview mode. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Right yeah. now, I could click on my cog wheel and change to a different camera source or whatever, and it 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 should work. But I come in with Ecam Virtual Cam, so because yeah, I'm coming in with Ecam Virtual Cam, I could just press anything. Like yeah. you know, mm -hmm. sorry. Sir. No, I you go ahead. Do one, yeah, do one of these real quick. So oh, yeah, it's virtual. There's no no need. Just I y'all yeah. be overcomplicating things. Listen, it gets and, simple. And then, By the way, the I mean I mess with David though because he makes good music and I love listening to his music. <laughs> I'm gonna leave him alone. David is good people, <laughs> man. That that concert last Friday was good. Yeah, go ahead, Daniel. Right. So the people that are like interviewing, uh, that are like your interviewee, the interviewer, like the you'll have controls and things like that. But as the person that is just clicking the link, joining the interview. I will be able to click on my gear wheel and any of the camera sources, any of the audio sources, even for your uh, your guests, they can change their camera source and their audio source as well. And as the uh, person that is also doing the interview side of things, uh, you can also you know pick if they want to share the screen and then you can pull that up. So again, it's really about branding your live show and your live experience. And honestly, even beyond that, like it's a full scale creators program, if you will, when mm. it comes to that kind of stuff because of the flexibility that you have. And so any videos over the last couple of years that you've seen me just kind of be at my desk and I'm just doing a piece to camera like this, it was all recorded in Ecamm Live. And, you know, there are a couple of things that I would add in in editing, but I really didn't have to. But it's just so I wouldn't have to think about it. But that file source is saved up to 4K video file. If you're using yes. Sony, even coming straight out the camera, that's a 6K down sampled into 4K, which means it's, as I say, squares down. <laughs> I love it. It's squares down <laughs> into 4K. And now you can take that 4K video file. And when we're talking about repurposing branding content, really now maximizing this content that we're creating, that's where you get all of these micro content pieces that you can share to LinkedIn and YouTube and not have to worry about the compression or the way that a specific social media platform reinterprets that to yes. kind of make it fit for it. Oof. Because I'm giving it a 6K squares Squeeze down, down. It's yeah, a 4K. you're getting all the juices and so when it comes to even sharing pieces like this i'm going to pull several out of this uh particular thing you know saying from tonight and i can share an igtv and people are like what this looks like the ads that we see but it's just an instagram story and it's like how are you doing that and it's just like you can you have a lot of tools to, to really really uh, expand oh, yeah. what you're trying to do you can change the mm -hmm. canvas of Ecamm to match the, the IG layout. So yeah. you have, and that's yeah. built into the system. So I, I, I tell um, people all the time, everybody keeps, I, I put up a video this past Sunday um, uh, on my channel. And I was saying to the people were asking, what are you using to record? I like, I use Ecamm. I, re, I use Ecamm to record all of my videos, every single video. Now I still edit it after the fact, but I, I use Ecamm to, to record all everything that I do. So um, it's it's a great workflow. It makes like my life very simple because it just saves it right on the desktop. I don't need to pull out an SD card. It is just 
phenomenal. Yes. So I, I love that. Yes. We got a question here on the screen. I don't know if you want to take this one, Doc, or ATEM or right. Stream Deck. This is, you know, we, we stirring it up today, man. <laughs> no, no, so let, let, let me explain you. Um, first of all, what you're asking is uh, mm -hmm. basically a, a pickup truck versus a cheese platter. They're two different things. They're not the same. Um, <laughs> that being said, I got an ATEM. And used it for about 48 minutes. No, I take it back. I used it for like a week and then it went right back. Why? Because Ecamm can do everything that Acam can do, A Tim can do, but it can do it in 4K, which for me matched my value proposition. I shoot everything in 4K. 4K. I don't listen to the experts who tell you 720 is good enough. My mama does not allow me to do good enough. I have Come to do on. Great. I just don't do good enough. That's not that's not how I roll. So I shoot everything in 4K. And the primary reason for that is Ms. D kind of explained it to you. When you have the video that's not been pre-squezed, if I need to zoom in or crop or pull something or like I just want to show you the data, the beta data in the back, like I can get to that. Right. If I want to zoom in to, you know, all of this new eureka -ness, I can zoom into that. Right. And then still not break up my quality. Right. If I were to do something where I was say, uh, taking a shot of us and it's here and then I wanted to isolate Miss D because I shot in 4K, I could zoom in, zoom and in, just only have the isolation of Miss D and it's still clear. It's clear. Right. You know what I'm saying? Claro. Claro. As my people <laughs> Come say. on. Right. So this concept of I'm going to just get me and do. Uh, 1080 or 720 because it's cheap and it's easy. Your homie don't play that. You hit you in the head with the sock, all of that. So uh, A10 went away. Like it is a dope piece of machinery. Absolutely. But the value add of having Ecamm and being able to have one, two, three, four Cam Link 4Ks plugged into a single iMac and record all of that while everybody else is writing comments about how you can only connect one Cam Link. I was like, uh, how about you? No. I can connect all four, have a video on my channel that explains how to do it, and I'm good. So the A10 was a waste. I would rather you buy four cam links at that point and, you know, be done with it. And as far as the stream deck goes, just get an XL because as soon as you get the regular one, your brain will be like, I need more buttons. And then stream deck <laughs> get, XL. Listen. Stream what, deck what? XL is the magic sauce this thing right here is just is, straight sauce you you are you're preaching my my life right now that is exactly what happened to me i bought the the the, re the regular stream deck i've only had it for like a week i've already sold it and i'm buying the xl because i need more buttons <laughs> i just need i need mm -hmm. more buttons i gotta have them so uh That's definitely you say average new no. Get the XL. <laughs> let me get that. Let me let me let me say yes down. Um, I'm going to definitely be doing that a video on that. So let let's let's keep in touch. Keep stay stay locked in on the channel. I will definitely be doing a video on that. I'm just kind of scrolling through here, man. Listen, we got a lot of folks in the comments chopping it up. Really good stuff. And what's so cool is that Doc and Diana are just you know responding to folks already. So I I mean it's, it makes life very simple. And the, and the fact that you know everybody's kind of on what happened here, uh, already on YouTube. So that that mm -hmm. makes it makes it even easier for for people to be able to 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 jump in. Um, the raw truth says, I love Ecam, but how can I put a video with sound in a small box? I want to do a split all screen day. with sound from the video. You can put we'll do the, it all day, every day. You can't put it. You <laughs> can just put it, it put it behind. You can put it behind. You don't even have to see this the small box. Yeah, it's I mean, but we do it every day. Yeah, it's a lot Go of flexibility. It, like, let's just let's just do a blanket statement here. You can do just about anything that you're thinking you want to do for your brand, or you see other people doing. It's very possible, and and furthermore, it's very easy to do. The, I think, again, come up with your runner show, like create those scenes, really think about a scene like your set. And so I have a set that's just for me. And if I just want to go to the website and a frame that fits that and I have a scene that if I want to show that video and it's like maybe I'm off to the side or picture in picture or whatever, set that and save it as a scene. If you don't know what a scene is so this doesn't turn into an ecam help session <laughs> like really spend some time 
on the ecamm live uh, youtube channel because they absolutely provide tremendous amount of value in tutorials y'all can hop on our live stream doc does live streams weekly i do live streams yeah, weekly absolutely if you ask the question we'll pull it up it's like okay well how do i do this in final cut pro and bring this in okay let's go over to final cut and i'll show you you know and we yep. legit dive into that so there are a ton of tutorials um, on doing that but it's very easy to do but if you don't understand the what scenes do versus what overlays do and how to make a run of show um, around creating those setups for your 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 live streaming content. I just say I would say take some time, go through and and most of y'all have like a ton of stuff in the scenes. It's very disorganized uh, and un 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 unorganized. Really go through, get rid of all that stuff and organize it. The scenes and like I promise you. Ecamm made it very, very easy, and sometimes some of the creators are making it very complex, mm -hmm. but it's very easy to do mm -hmm. with literally about two, three button clicks. Like, and I mean just like two to three, and that's it, and it's done. Mm -hmm. and, and, to, and to proof positive, like uh, we have newbies. I won't say newbies. We have relatively new people that run the recap. In So in my community, I let the community run the recap for the Vlogman show. And they literally play about 50 videos a night with three, four other people on screen critiquing the videos, helping folk with their lighting, telling David to put some light on his face because he's handsome, you know, and he can sing and play the piano. So, like, stop hiding your face, David. Like, <laughs> Come on. So, what you're, what you're asking for, we seriously do every, every single night for the month of December. Oh, every yeah. one. And I'll be, and I'll, I'll and, be and on there tonight. Even think about it. Right. Probably we don't even think about it because it's so easy. Like we were like, oh, how do you put it in the video? Because we just do it. We just do it every yeah. day that yeah. it's like a muscle memory. So, yeah, yeah, what you're asking for, we can most definitely do. To what 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 to, to Doc's problems. point to Doc's point I will be actually on there Elicio um, is is running it tonight and he he has invited me and a number of others so I'm gonna be on there tonight doing the critique doing the wrap up for uh, to day 28 which is today so the videos that have been posted on today's post we're gonna be doing a wrap up on that tonight in the group uh, so yeah that's that's gonna be a whole thing as well man uh, Migs is asking what's the community name it's called Let's Get Live Let's Get Live. Let's so yes, duckrock dot live slash group yeah yeah i i put that i put that up there uh, a little bit ago i know you had you'd had commented you put that in the comments as well so if you scroll up you might see that but docrock dot live slash group is is what you where you want to be i was guessing it's monday night football and for some reason have some people in my neighborhood down here are streaming the game i guess because i normally don't have any problems with my limnet but today is the day <laughs> what is what what oh 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 you're responding to, to to gaston's um question gaston was in our our, yeah. our group our group uh earlier today yeah. as well he had yeah. our last question so it's so cool to be able to see folks you know make that transition from clubhouse over here to youtube for us to have this conversation um yeah elaine dempsey i couldn't agree with you more she says i love ecam and i love lgl i love the lgl community and I could not agree with you more. Really great community. And it, and this is the thing. I think uh, Diana, Doc have said this multiple times, but I can't, it cannot be overstated. It's the platform is great. It's phenomenal. But the community that has built around the platform is, in my opinion, even better. Uh, some of the things that I've been able to learn, the people I've been able to connect with, um, some of the doors that have opened just just by speaking up. And I think that's one of the things that you've got to be able to yeah. do. A lot of folks, when they look at the whole live streaming proposition, they're like, man, I don't really want to put myself out there like that. Me on the screen by myself and just kind of chatting with folks. I don't know if I want to do that. Um, but I, I really think that this, this is a time frame. You know, we're, we're in the pandemic. Uh, this is a time frame where those excuses, as has been mentioned multiple times in this stream, those excuses just don't don't fly. If you don't want to do it, then don't do it. Simple. <laughs> but 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 if you want if you if you have a goal in mind, you want to be able to push in a certain space. I think this is a time to get uncomfortable, um, ask the questions so that you can have them answered and then put your best foot forward. There's no way to get over the bad live streams. I tell people that all the time. You just got to do them. Right. There's no you know, you're there's always going to be improvement. I don't well, care how yeah. good your first live stream is, is it's going to it's going to be improvement from the first one to the 20th one or the 50th one. How many did you say you did, Diana? Was it 120 or 200, 200, like 13 or something? <laughs> me, me, me and my uh, kids, 
me and my kids recently went back and looked at my first live stream from back in May from the first How It All Works yeah. episode. It was terrible. <laughs> we were laughing and, and I thought we were doing well. But this is what I'm saying. It's yeah. just a process of improvement. You got to give yourself wholeheartedly to that process, man, mm -hmm. and, and, and dive in okay. head first because I really believe you will you will be better for it, um, not just in your live streaming capability, but also in your life, period. Yes. Just give yourself to that process. Um, yes. I don't, I, I feel like we're coming to a natural closing point. C comments are stopping, you know, coming through. I, I, I just want to take a second to let Doc and Diana plug their hustle, uh, plug their, their brands. I know Don, Diana said you got, you have something coming up this coming weekend. I definitely want to <laughs> i definitely want to be on that live because i i definitely want to be on the wheel of wonders <laughs> so so uh -huh. sh share share a little bit about where i mean i know we talked about your website your website is below your name right here but share a little bit about you know what people can expect when they come to your platforms and um and how they can follow you how they can follow up with you see what's going on in diana's world um at, first of all been phenomenal uh first of all being able to manage both doc and myself so <laughs> <laughs> so you've done a phenomenal job uh, and again thank you for whether people are watching this live on the replay thanks for your time and your attention and being here hopefully we added uh, some value to you um, when it comes to my uh, content on Entree Woman TV uh, which is my YouTube channel it's all about helping entrepreneurs simplify the video creation process if you need video simplified Entree Woman TV is the place to be so uh, that that whole channel promise like right now we're, we're rounding out through Vlogmas um, you might have saw other creators stop at December 25th. The Entree fam, uh, which is my community, the Let's Get Live fam, stock community, we're all housed in, under the Let's Get Live uh, Facebook group, which mm -hmm. that I threw that in the chat as well. It's like, but if you're talking about the, the video simplified, that's what the channel is all about so that you can learn the things that you need to amplify your business and your brand using uh, video. And so uh, if you're trying to connect, go to dianagladney.com. And then, yes, on Friday, this Friday at noon on the channel, we're doing the Wheel of Wonder, which is the best show you've never been on yet. So <laughs> 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 it is, has the, the best corniest music that I purposefully picked out. It just brings a little joy to yes. your soul. All right. And so <laughs> and so we just I pick a random number similar to how you did. But. Those people now need to go over to the Wheel of Wonder, and that music just gets cornier and cornier. And Come on. then we, <laughs> then we pick. So if you win, if I say pick a number between one and ten, and seven may be that number, all the people that pick seven will go over and will spin to see if the wheel is favorable to you. And it's completely random. I don't get to say who wins, so it's completely by chance. So I've given away, um, again, those website URLs, so that digital real estate given away. Uh, Ecamm Live subscriptions, full annual pro accounts for the year. Uh, we've given away uh, discounts for t-shirt. I've even thrown in uh, occasionally some different coaching sessions and things like that, which, uh, you know, again, it costs a pretty penny when it comes to me working with clients doing video marketing consultation, but through some of that stuff on the wheel and some people won that as well. So wow. um, the wheel wonder is a lot of fun. So uh, we'll be giving that away. And thank you to Ecamm Live and to SwitchPod that's contributing to that. And so uh, SwitchPod gave me one for myself, and then they gave me one to give away. So thank you to Ecamm and SwitchPod for uh, contributing to that. So a lot Phenomenal. of fun. Phenomenal. Best. Devin, Devin Chambers says the best show in the game. I love it. Wheel of Wonder. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Giston says Ezekiel Saul. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Listen, I so just before Doc goes, I I am I mentioned it already. I will be on his platform, um, uh, the platform that he created. You know, one of the things I love about both uh, Diana and Doc is that they've created these spaces. They've created room. They've made room for people to come in and learn. Um, those who are, are who have a thirst for knowledge, uh, who want to understand how to do something better than they've been doing it or to learn how to do it all together. They've created these spaces for people to be able to learn those skill sets. So you want to frequent those spaces, folks. If you're not already in those spaces looking at what they have to offer, um, please take a second and go check them out. I will be on the Let's Get Live group to later tonight to do the roundup. I'm excited about that with Alicio and a number of others. Man, that panel is going to be 
absolutely crazy. Um, I think Shelly's going to be on there as well. Um, but yeah, I'll be on there tonight. And that's a, that is a brainchild that came from both Doc and Diana. And I'm so glad I was able to get in one of the, one of the first 20 that, that joined the group. So I felt good about that. And that was a part of that live stream, that epic, like 20 man live stream that we had that night. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah. yeah. So that was, that was absolutely, yeah. cr- that was the best. That was the best. It went for yes, hours and hours. Said, How many people can you get on the stream? In, that's Kenny right. Said five. And we said, ha, hold my lemonade. Is there better. we like, go. <laughs> oh, that's poor weird. Alicia. Poor Alicia. Right. He's like, how are y'all hacking my stream? What's going on? It's like, sorry, brother. We just, sorry, brother. We in here to win it. We in here to win it. <laughs> We're bringing more people in. <laughs> go ahead, Doc. Talk to the folks about where they can find you, how they can follow you, where they can keep up with what you have going on and, and, and avail themselves of the resources you are putting out there. Uh, you can find me all over the internets at D O C R O C K. I'm basically that on almost every platform. Yeah. I stream on Tuesdays and Saturdays at 8 a.m. Hawaiian time. You figure it out. Uh, time worldtimebuddy.com is the best thing you can do when you, <laughs> you know. I try helping folks, but see, I don't do daylight saving time. And us in Arizona and Alaska, we don't do it. The rest of y'all still think you can mess with the clock that your man made i don't get it so um i don't yeah it's hard for me to keep up so gmt minus 10 that's how you do it um and you know honestly folks my goal is to literally grab as many people as i can and bring them on the journey into youtube and live video because so many folks have these wonderful story to tell but they're not telling it because somebody else done told them that they're not good enough and i just don't vibrate with that noise so I am here to help unprogram all the bad programming that we've been sold the wrong story for a hot minute. And I want to be able to let you be the best you you are. And if mm-hmm. I could do that, I'm good. I mean, I, I just think I'm Tinkerbell or something. I'm like <laughs> six foot, 250 black Puerto Rican Tinkerbell. <laughs> I love it. Who lives in Hawaii, right? In Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, delicate it's tropical flower. My friends, my friends in the Mac community call me delicate tropical flower because when I would go to <laughs> conferences, I'd be the only one freezing. And then dudes from Canada be outside in their shorts and I'd be in San nah. Francisco clacking teeth. Yeah. Clacking teeth. I'm like, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah, you know, if, uh, and wherever I can do to help you get where you need to get, like, you know, I'm where to get in this guy. So I'm going to help you and just come in, ask your questions. Don't be shy. The first five minutes you're in the community, you are a guest. Every minute after minute six, you are at home. At home. So go ahead, take your shoes. Don't put your feet on my couch, but take your <laughs> shoes off. And uh, we're good. Listen, we're I family. can. I can attest to what Doc is saying, man. It did not feel like I was a guest. I felt like I was at home. So um, definitely check out these spaces, fam. Follow these folks. Um, I want to just take a moment right here um, to say I'm gonna I'm gonna drop you guys back scene back backstage for a second. But I would like you guys to stay on for just a quick wrap up after we go offline. But I want to say a word of thank you to both of you. You didn't have to come. You didn't have to share your expertise with folks, but you did. And I knew you would because I know who you are at your core. And, and this is what you do. And I want the audience to know that this is why I, I, I like folks like these. I mean, they, they are really intentional about putting value out there. They want to make sure that they're helping you and answering your questions. And that's why I want to put, shine a floodlight on what it is they're doing um, in any way that I can on this platform. But I just want to say a, a special, specific word of thanks to you. Uh, Sean Boyd and to you, Diana Gladney, for taking the time out this evening and sharing with us from your considerable expertise and experience um, on the topic of live streaming, but really, really on the topic of life. Um, Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much, man. You've been amazing. Thank you. Such an honor. Thank you. Um, I'm I'm just throwing this back up here for for your benefit i want to make sure you guys are are seeing again this is what we where we are public relations is coming up next month uh, we're kicking it off real good in january january 4th we've got guest and pierre on with us and we're gonna we're gonna eat i hope that you guys are hitting me up i need to know i need a tiktok expert for 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 my my show on monday january 4 i know it's a quick turnaround i'm hoping that two of the three people that i Two of the two of the people that I already messaged will come back with a yes. But if you've got somebody who's available, please, you know, send them my way. I'm always looking for guests to be on the show, especially folks who have a heart to add value to have a heart to add value. Um, 
Again, it's your boy, Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher. And I'm hoping that somewhere in the course of the video today, somewhere as Doc and Diana shared, you know, dr just drops of wisdom, um, on the topic of live streaming, but really also on the topic of life that you were able to put the puzzle pieces together, that you were able to have that aha moment and the light bulb went on that you were able to essentially figure out how it all works. And we'll see you in the next video. How, how, how it all works.